huge fan of documentaries. I am myself. And uh, we have been holding off on having a documentary podcast because uh, I guess we were just waiting for, you know, somebody to die. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here we are. Uh, so talk, just give us a, a brief rundown of what happened with American Movie and, and why, uh, why we were actually going to talk about it. Um, do we need to give a little synopsis of American movie or are we going to leave? So I think we'll get, I think we'll get into like what it all, what all it is, but like what, what was the significance of, of why it was even being talked about? I, I've watched it twice. I don't think there is a synopsis. Possible. <laughs> that's, that's, that's very true. That's, that's part of my love for it. Uh, well, um, the, uh, heart and soul of the movie, Mike Shank passed away, uh, two weeks ago, Yep, which was how it came up and is, uh. One of the sweetest, most lovable characters in film history. Mm. Just an absolutely simple, sweet guy. Partially because he, he has a lot of brain damage from drug <laughs> use. <laughs> he's a <laughs> recovering drug addict. So he's just kind of this sweet Wisconsinite. He's got long curly hair and a mustache. Yep. He's like a metalhead. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And he, he was such a... Uh, in the I think we talked about in the DVD release of American Movie, he put his personal phone number in there. <laughs> So that it's just anybody. I mean, this movie was a uh, grand jury prize at yeah, Sundance. Yeah. Roger Ebert was a big champ. It was a yeah, big movie. Yeah. And you could just call Mike Schenk and talk to him. And uh, you just, oh, hello. It's yeah, Mike. Yeah, said, uh, hey, uh, do you like vodka? Yeah, <laughs> vodka? <laughs> <Got some> vodka? <laughs> vodka with a T. <laughs> well, he likes drinking vodka, and I like drinking vodka. <laughs> so we became friends because he wanted to drink vodka. <laughs> Nobody wanted to get as hammered as I did. Uh, so <laughs> j- before we even get started, Scott, uh, what's your take on the movie? Boring. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can snooze man. fast. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, we just got to throw that out there right away so the audience knows that uh, not all fans of the movie, American <laughs> yeah. movie. Sit in the corner or something. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I appreciate that because we have to have someone that d- despises it as much as I despise freaking Hotel California and whatever the hell that other song is called. I won't even... That song that has no name. <laughs> um, I had completely forgot about it. I had not thought about this movie in probably 10 years. And then I saw that Mike died and I was like, oh my God. And immediately I, I went online and started watching it. Yeah. Uh, because I absolutely love it. I think Scott's crazy. I think it is slow and boring, but that is why it's amazing. So you <clears throat> sent it over to me. Yep. That the day Mike died and I watched it and the first time through somewhat like Napoleon Dynamite first time through, I just sit there and stare at it, trying to figure out what the hell is going on for an hour and a half. But then when I watched it for the second time, yeah, there are some classic bits oh, in there. I mean, Mike, so absolutely love Mike, so but the, the, my, I think my favorite part of the movie is when Mark's doing the math on how many Coven, yes. he needs to, on the whiteboard. He's like, I have 500, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. And he tries to wipe away everything but 3,000. <laughs> but he, he also wipes, wipes away, wipes off everything, clears the off the whole damn board. board. Oh, man, I wish I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. that. It's, I'm sorry for erasing that, but it's Scott is not even remotely <laughs> laughing. I, there, I don't recall that part. There are, I blacked out most of the movie. <laughs> yeah. 